Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to find all 16 Korok seeds here in Hatino in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Our first seed is going to be found on the peninsula on the far southeastern side of the map between the Deep Back Bay and the Hatino Bay. And if you go to the end, you'll see a bunch of rocks in the water. You want to jump across to the small rock in the middle. Once you do, a little cluster of leaves will spawn. You can interact with them and you'll get seed number one. Number two is going to be found pretty close by on the Hatino Beach. You can see our exact location here. There's going to be a dandelion on top of a giant rock. All you need to do is hit that dandelion and wait for it to float down and grab it before it hits the ground. And once you do, you'll get seed number two. Number three is going to be found on the smaller peninsula that's just west of Hatino Bay. You can see our location and there's going to be a couple trees. You want to climb the one that has the boat leaning up against it. And when you climb up to the top of this palm tree, you'll see a little cluster of leaves spawn in that you can interact with. Interact with those and you'll get seed number three. Number four and five are going to be found together just south of the Retsum Forest. Here is the location. We're going to have another one of these little Korok buddies hanging out on the cliff and we need to take him all the way down to the beach. So for this one, I would highly recommend making an airplane as this is a really good distance and it's going to take a while if you go on foot. You can make a vehicle and drive down the mountain as well if you want to, but it is very bumpy. So I think the airplane is the best way to go. But once you build that, all you need to do is fly straight down to the edge of the peninsula and you'll be able to get your next two seeds. Number six is going to be found just south of the Retsum Forest as well by this little pond that you can see here on your map. Once you make it over here, there's going to be a rock that's right in front of the pond. Climb up on top to find the pinwheel, and you're only going to have one balloon that's bouncing back and forth behind the rock in front of you. Take that balloon out, and you'll get seed number six. Number seven is going to be on the building on top of the hill that's just south of the Retsum Forest. You guys can see our location. And when you get over here, you need to make it to the very top, so I put a rocket on my shield. You can also just climb to the top of the building if you like. But once you get to the top here, you'll see our little cluster of leaves spawn in that we can interact with and we'll be able to get seed number seven. Number eight is going to be found in the middle of Lake Sumac. You'll see on your map there's a giant tree that's located right in the middle. There's going to be a little cluster of leaves that's traveling around this small little island. Interact with those leaves and you'll get seed number eight. Number nine is going to be found at a giant tree that's just southwest of the tower on the hill. You guys can see the tree here on our map. And all you need to do is climb to the top of this thing. So we'll go ahead and jump on. Climb to the top, there's going to be a small rock when you get up here. Go ahead and pick that thing up. The rock will reveal itself and you'll get seed number 9. Number 10 is going to be found just north of Ebon Mountain. You'll see that we have a little peak here. Once you go to the very top of this mountain here, you're going to find a little pinwheel on the rock that's going to spawn three balloons. All we need to do is hit all three of these balloons with three arrows. Once all three are knocked out, the rock will appear and you'll get seed number 10. Number 11 is also going to be found right next to Ebon Mountain. It's actually going to be on the eastern side. You can see our location here. You're going to find a puzzle. You can go ahead and pick up the piece and you want to rotate this thing around to look just like this. And once it looks like this, you can sneak it right on in there. The Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 11. Numbers 12 and 13 are going to be found together just south of the Furley Pond. You'll see that we're on a little cliff side right here. You're going to find our little Korok buddy that's hanging out who needs help getting on top of the mountain. It's directly behind us. Now, because it's so high off the ground and it's right beside us, an airplane is going to be really difficult to take off and get that height. So it's much easier to just pick him up and carry him up the mountain as there's a pretty easy path to follow. All you want to do is go west up this path. And when you get up there, just take a right and you'll continue to work your way up the mountain and stop when you find all the rocks. So you'll see all the rocks right here. This is where the campsite's going to be. We can drop them off and we'll get our next two seeds. Number 14 is going to be found right in the middle of the Furley Pond. You can see here on our map right in the middle is going to be a pretty giant rock with a small rock in the middle. Go ahead and pick up that small rock and you'll get seed number 14. Number 15 is going to be on the hillside that's just north of the Furley Pond. Here is the location. There's going to be a giant flagpole up here that you need to climb to the top of. Now you are going to need a lot of stamina to get up here as this is very high off the ground. So make sure you have plenty of stamina before going for this seed. But once you get to the very top, you'll see a little cluster of leaves that you can interact with and you'll get seed number 15. Our 16th and final seed in this region is going to be found over by the Hatino School, which is just west of the Zelkoa Pond. And once you make it to the school, all we need to do is climb up to the top 
you're going to find a giant bell in the tower. We need to use Ultra Hand and ring this bell. So just pull it back and let it go. Once it rings for a couple seconds, the Korok will appear and you'll get seed number 16. But this is how to find all 16 Korok seeds here in Hatino. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.